Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with a brilliant Avatar Frontiers of Pandora on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the previous video, we spoke to some people back at our new Resistance headquarters. And we discovered that we have a lot of sick and injured because of the attack that we received from the RDA. So we spoke to Noor, and Noor told us that there is a group in the area called the Kamantiri that apparently are very dodgy, but they are supposedly a clan of healers. So we went on a bit of a quest, we interacted with the Tree of Awa so we could bring Floof to the area and start soaring through the skies. We did a bit of exploring, we met up with a member of the Kamantiri clan and he told us where their capital is and he basically told us that their leader, nobody is allowed to see them. So when we spoke to the current leader here, they told us that the real leader apparently killed somebody and is currently somewhere in seclusion and nobody is allowed to see her and also that the Sauron 2 clan are gone and basically I'm an imposter. And then this other commenter, he spoke to me and said that not everybody agrees with his opinion and I should meet up with her and she will tell me more. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get straight into things. Now, before we go and speak to that commenter, um, I just want to quickly speak to a couple of characters because I think there's some more recipes we can get in the area. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Because at the moment, nothing looks like it's been set up. Because <laughs> everybody was hiding when I first arrived. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can speak to anyone yet, but I could probably do a little bit of cooking quickly. Oh right, yeah, there we go. That's what we need. Get a bunch of our 45% damage fury food. Either that or the bark skin food. They're my go-to meals in this game. Yeah, there you go. Bark skin. <laughs> Not what I thought I was going to get, but it'll do. Oh, my food. How is my food patch already for? Oh, I think we looted a bunch of food in the previous video. That's probably why. Yeah. Okay. That's that done. Yeah, it doesn't look like I could speak to anyone yet. Meet with the commentary hunter at the Circle of Ancestors in the Hollows. Okay. I knew... Never seen a Sarentu. Never thought I would. Then you walked into the heart of the Kametire, as if it was nothing. I didn't know. What? That everyone blames us for the dead Sarentu. But wasn't it the RDA that took us? You don't need to hide. We're not hiding. The clans turned their backs on us. And now, Mokasa is our only guy. Our Tzahik Anufi is lost in her own darkness. Anufi? How do I find her? Nobody ever sees Anufi. Mokasa forbids it. She stopped fighting for us a long time ago. But if I could just talk to her... Maybe. Seeing a Sarentu will bring her back to us. She has a place beyond the Great Falls behind the capital. If you find it, tell her Satne sent you. Okay. Oh, hello. What's that? A wood shaper cape. I oh, swear, I wish people would give me loot like this more often. And perfect, we actually need it. 58 health. Oh, look at that. Although we do, we do lose an 8% damage boost. The 1% range resistance is just absolutely pointless. Yeah. Oh, we're level 14 now, so that's good. What have we got in terms of mods? Yeah, our mods are not too bad at the moment. I need to check out my mods more often because I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really ever. See, I don't even have any mods for my uh, for my feet. It's outrageous. <laughs> it is absolutely outrageous. That is a very good mod. That is. Because I get so many good like mods and stuff that I pick up and I don't even know that I've not equipped them. 6% <laughs> weak spot damage. Like, that is so lame. Alright, let's quickly see if there's a, a mod I can buy for my uh, feet. Is anyone ready to speak to me yet? 
Oh, there we go. Sky people vanish now. I do not dare hope. Right. In need of something, yes? Here we go. Very nice. That's what I wanted. And do you have any mods? Yes, you do. 8% ranged resistance. I mean, ah. Uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> Ah, uh, do, do I want to spend it? Man, you look you look flipping creepy. You look like the leader of the Urukai in uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Jesus, he's got the, the handprint on his face near enough. That is an angry looking dude. This dude would kick ass if he was in a fight. You can see that straight away. Right, we'll grab it. Because 8% range resistance. That is quite a bit of resistance, to be honest. Good. Be That's like nearly 10% less damage from shots. That could be life or death, that could. There we go. And as for skills, uh, what was it I wanted to get? I saw it when I was looking for a skill in the previous video. Deal 25% damage on your next attack within 10 seconds after killing an unaware target. That's pretty good, because we can kill like a normal basic enemy with our hunter, with our uh, heavy bow, and then we get a 25% damage boost, then we can uh, shoot one of those um, mechs in the back. And then hopefully kill him in one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Have we already got that? Yeah, we do. Okay. Alright. Oh, actually, before we head out, is, have I got my... Have you got a stash here? Where have they gone? My little ones. Our flame has grown. I can feel it. No. Also, I don't think I'm tracking the mission. No, I wasn't. Alright. Well, <clears throat> you know what I'm going to do quickly, just to save a bit of time. I'm just going to quickly fast travel back to the other camp of the Zeswar clan. Because I've got loads of stuff in my... Uh, apparently, I've got loads of stuff in my bag. I don't know how. I don't think we've looted much stuff in terms of materials. So, uh, I want to dump it all in my stash quickly. <clears throat> Someone felled one of their metal birds. I'll take a couple of seconds, then we'll fast travel back. Someone should speak to her father. I know this was foolish, my love, but I cannot fix any of it. I've got a lot of stuff I need to donate as well. Oh, we don't have a lot of stuff in our uh, in our bag. What's it talking about? Yeah, I tried to lose something in the previous video, and it said that I've got too much stuff. Well, that's a flipping lie, isn't it? This dude is still waiting to give me a side mission. <laughs> There's a lot of people that want to give me side missions. Like I said, though, when I finish the game, if you guys and girls want to see uh, <clears throat> want to see me do uh, any side missions, then uh, yeah, I'll happily do it. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell happened in the previous video. I think they were just lying to me. Alright, is this the... Uh... Yep, there we go. Right, and also another thing we found out in the previous video from our buddy Usul, who told us about where the Hollow is, uh, which is the Commentary's capital city, basically. Uh, there's something in the area called the Yaba, and it's basically this... Uh, this poisonous um Nobody. this like poisonous it gas that you can find this toxin you can find throughout this area and when you walk into it you slowly die and i think you also uh lose a little bit of control of your character maybe but i could be wrong about that so we also got to avoid that as well come on in floof let's go Find the refuge in the far west of the Stone Cloud Valley on a cliff short way of the Singers Falls waterfall. Lovely. Well, we don't have to worry about any of that because we have got a quest marker. I need to make sure I do do a little bit of uh, nut visioning 
because <laughs> not be visioning <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff I could probably get in this area. Oh shit, sorry Flo. The Blade Wing Trail. Oh, we're not following one of them. We ain't got time for that. We're, we are a very busy nutbeat. Yeah, I think if you fly through it, because these things have only reappeared because we've lowered the pollution. When you fly through them, your, uh, your thingy eats them, but it doesn't seem to... What's that? Oh, no, we are not doing the memory painting site. No way. No way. That's the thing with the hands, like that social lubricant trophy. We are not doing that. Must be it. I'm a feast place. Oh, let me land over here. All right, Anufi. I mean, to be honest, I don't think it's an issue that you've killed someone. I don't. I don't know why that's a problem because I mean, I've killed a lot of people, and that and nobody seems to care about that. I'm, I'm basically held as a hero. <laughs> Find a way inside the refuge. Oh, nice. She's got her own community basket. I'm guessing I've got to break all these flowers then. Oh, flipping out. Oh, hello. Are you a new fee? Hey, what are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> I come here to see a new fee. Are you lost, stranger? I am looking for Anufi. I am sorry you traveled so far for nothing. <laughs> Satni says she lives out here. I need a healer, and I hear Anufi is the best. Our Tsai doesn't see anyone lately. Mokasa forbids it. I stay around to make sure she is cared for. If I could just talk to her, my people need her healing. I noticed the mark, stranger. Perhaps she would make an exception. But maybe you can help her too. I can try. But how do I get inside? She created a barrier using those mushrooms. I don't know how it works, and she has her own hidden entrance. I cannot help, but I won't stop you if you figure it out. I mean, are they mushrooms? I'd say they're flowers. That plant barrier. Like the one at the rookery. Oh man, the rookery was so long ago now. Bloody hell, that's where we met up with Floof. Well, that's it. Must find the others. Oh, there is a lot. Is that one there? Yes, it was. Oh yeah, there's a lot we need to find by the looks of it. Bloody hell, she really set herself up a nice defense, didn't she? She really doesn't want any visitors. This, sort of, this is what it would be like if you ever came to my house. When I get my own place, Wolf Morvets, if you see a door like this, just know that I live there. And it also means I don't want you in there. <laughs> don't visit me. Honestly, I think I'd get proper pissed off about that if I was like really a really, really big channel and one of my subscribers turned up on my doorstep. Obviously, yeah, I appreciate the fact that you, you're a big fan of me, yada, 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 you know, yeah, I'm happy about that, you know, but you turn up at my door, I'm, I'm going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> there's no, there's no friendly B-Wolf, I'm telling you that right now, because I don't know who you are, just because you're a fan of me, that doesn't mean you're not a mass murderer. So yeah, if I ever, if I ever get big one day, Wolf, my best don't turn up at my house, because it won't be a pleasant experience for either of us. So yeah, don't do that. Don't do it to any YouTuber. Don't do it to any celebrity, to be honest. Even if they told you you can, just don't do it. Still just don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Oh, there we go. Is that all, is that all of them? One more. Oh, there it is. So 
Sounds like that was it. Okay. Okay, it's very dark. Very, very dark. I love the uh, the flickering you get in the dual sense controller when uh, you're near fire from the haptic feedback. Ooh, mud crawler fish. Lovely. Shall we pass some time? It does look like it's raining out there and it's also very gloomy, so if we can change it to daytime, that would be lovely. Oh, that's the complete opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> Even darker and more stormy. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, come on. Give me some sunshine. For fuck's sake. Oh. She's got all the she got her own little setup going on over here. That's a gear basket as well. And that might actually be an upgrade. Oh no, that's not an upgrade. No, I crafted these myself, I think. Maybe. That's probably why. I need to get a new helmet by the looks of it. Oh, these uh, there's a trophy for doing this as well, where they want you to specifically contribute something that they ask for. Like at the moment, they want to get a frill stem cone of superior quality. This will probably be one of the last trophies you get, and it will take a very bloody long time as well. Oh, there she is. Anufi? Anufi? Step into the light where I can see you. Ah! I was told you are the greatest Kamitire healer. Lies? Yes. There was once pleasure in healing. And power to... The power to harm. These hands are proof of that. And a tiny thing I made, like this. I made it to heal, but it only did harm. And now your people lie in the fog. What did you do? Child. I killed you. All of you. No. The sky people came for us. No, it was me. So many dead already. No. I told you, it is too dangerous. I cannot risk trying to heal any other innocents. But our wounded will die without your help. Then they will die. Oh, come on, Anufi. I doubt she killed the Sarantu clan. That would be quite the curveball. Leave the refuge to call Nor. Nah, you couldn't. Nah. Maybe she did. But even if you did kill them, I wouldn't say it would have been intentionally. I would, have, I would say it would be some sort of setup, even if you did kill them. I wouldn't think you're responsible. And also, it doesn't sound like you killed one person. It sounds like you killed an entire clan. So it's a bit worse than what Mosaka, or whatever his name is, said to me. He said you were responsible for killing someone. Well, not an entire clan. Why didn't he no, tell me you I'm killed here. the clan? Did you find them? I just spoke to the Taik. Anufi? It wasn't easy. I told you they're reclusive. It's not just that. There's something more going on here. She's confused. She thinks she killed the Sarentu. Can that be true? That doesn't make any sense. What else did she say? Just that she can't help us and that we're lost in the fog. I don't know. Perhaps they're hiding something. Nobody wants to help me. They all seem afraid. Why did Alma say we couldn't trust them? The Kamitire were always good to us. It doesn't feel right. There must be another Kamitire.
Hirahira. Or someone. There's Anufi's guardian. She helped me earlier. I'll see what I can find out. Yep, and she's right there waiting for us. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, you you was right. You was right, Zumhill. She does not want to speak to me. <laughs> and we did not we did not help her as well. Yeah. Well, that was a complete waste of time. We just killed a bunch of mushrooms for nothing. Why wouldn't Anufi help me? I thought she was a healer. Anufi is troubled. It may take her time. But I don't have time. The Sky people attacked us. Many of us died. Others are sick. Please, I don't know where else to go. Nobody can know I helped. But there is another healer. His name is Siul. Where can I find him? Herbalism is forbidden. But Siul persists. Why is it forbidden? My friend said you are famed herbalist. When you find Siul, he will explain. I can't help you if nobody will tell me what's happening. Exactly. Talk to Siul. <laughs> the herbalists have a space in the hollows. He might be there, although I haven't seen him in a while. That's all I can say. Please go now. I every understand. Thank you. Every time you say Seul, I'm here in Cypher. And that is a very damn good game, that is. Oh. What are you saying behind me? Stop walking off and muttering. You better not be insulting me back there. Okay. Oh, we're getting skill points all the time at the moment. Very happy with that. Well, I felt like we, we it, it sounds like it feels like you go for a long period of time without getting any skill points unless you like go and interact with one of those little saplings somewhere. Uh, search for Seul at the Herbalist Circle in the Hollows. Oh, in the Hollows? Oh, we're going back home again. I don't know where the hell you went, Floof. I'm pretty sure you were sitting here a minute ago. Did you move because she came over? <laughs> Do you not want to be friends with her? That's all right, buddy. That's all right. You don't have to be friends with them if you don't want to. I actually get very offended when my cat lets somebody else stroke them. <laughs> if I look out my window and my cat's gone out and someone is stroking my cat, it actually bugs me. No, it's like, there's who the hell do they think they are? Seul. And he will help? I hope so. That was a very brief chat, wasn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. That was a very brief chat. Hey, Nor, I think I found someone else that will help us. Hopefully. Oh, that's that done. <laughs> End of that conversation. Let's give you some food. You're hungry, huh? Of course I'm hungry. I'm carrying your fat ass around all day, mate. You got him, Floof! Yeah, yeah, you murdered that innocent creature for no reason, Floof. Hang on a minute. Well, what is that? What the hell is that? A budding watcher, a network of plants whose main body will open once the smaller connected plants have been stimulated. Huh. God knows what that is. Bloody hell, floof. Even Kametide succumb to the chill of the fog sometimes. Will you say? you need a warming ointment from the herbalists. Will the sky people vanish now? I do not dare hope. I suppose there should probably be a couple of other vendors around here. Steel has not returned. Oh, an arm guard mod. What does that do? Uh, seventeen percent elemental resistance. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Where have they gone? We fought. We one. won. If we have to, we will do it again. Oh, there we go. So, what is it you need? Sweet, a shortbow recipe. I don't really use the shortbow very often. Uh. Oh, I might take this actually. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. That's pretty useful, actually. Better than what we've currently got.
And let's see if she's got a better grip. Flame burn bright. I'm getting low on the clan fiber though. Here, see what I have today. No, she doesn't. Not for the heavy Let bow, at least. Flame burn bright. I'm guessing you've got a side mission for me. Oh, you can wait a minute, buddy. I'm trying to find where uh, is it so wrong where to Siu is. Into this grim place. Our flame is very, very small. I can feel it. Who are the sky people? Tiny people is what we should call them. Sarantu, you will understand. Stories run in your blood, as they do in mine. I'm not much of a storyteller, to be honest. I do like a good story, though. <laughs> I will tell you a tale of a poor Navi, who only sought to bring light into a dark world. I built a stage for my clan, and told stories with my puppets. People flocked to my shows. They laughed, they cried. But then... The great silence, the shame. We step back into the fog and let it close around us. I had no heart to tell any tale but tragedies. And we had tragedy enough. No more did they come for my stories. The stage fell to ruin and rot. The puppets I gave away to the children where they might still raise a faint smile. They have long since been cast away. We all need stories. Who would tell them now if not you? That is the question I keep asking myself. The stage I can rebuild, but the puppets cannot... Oh, come on, buddy. I thought you were Seal. That's why I spoke to you. <laughs> they have been scattered as those children grew and forgot their dreams. <clears throat> we were not allowed many toys or dreams growing up. I'd be glad to help find your puppets. Thank you. I would search for them myself. But I am not so young anymore. None of us are. Well, nah, you look young, mate. I hear the sky the went dark has with foraged yesterday. Hello? Siul? Siul? Nor? I'm at Siul's workshop. It's deserted. And looks like it has been for a while. Why have so many Kametire disappeared? I'll take a look around. Well, I mean, it could be, because the Nutvi have got to go out there hunting, looking for food and shit, and if there's a bunch of poison gas everywhere, they're not going to know what to do, because they're Nutvi, you know? They're not, they're not going to understand what it is. They're going to walk into it like twats, and they're going to die. And it's not like they've got gas masks. <laughs> there's a painting here. It looks like a canyon. That place must have meant something to Seol. Well, no shit, nor. <laughs> I thought it looked like a, uh, a dinosaur bone. Handprints and paint leading out. I wonder if. Well, they both look like paints, so we'll connect these together, maybe? A painting of a canyon and markings in paint. Maybe Seward wanted someone to follow him. Maybe. What the hell is that? Looks like the Phalanx boss from uh, Demon Souls. There's Ithorn here. But it looks different. Sick. Maybe it grew sick from the Yava? That's a good possibility, Nor. See, now that is stuff that is actually useful to the investigation. I wonder if... Smells like Ithorn. I think Seul is trying to make something with this Ithorn. With sick Ithorn? He is a healer. He would know better. Seul is trying to make something, but Anufi's guardian said herbalism is forbidden. Maybe Seul couldn't hide it here anymore. So he went to the canyon. The strange eye thorn might be there too, if it's near the Yava. I'll try to find it. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, I think I think I, I remember what's going on. All right. Obviously, I won't spoil it for you guys and girls, but yeah. Okay, the canyon must have collapsed the avarage and must be close to the hollows. Okay, what is, what is that? It's that bloody thing again, isn't it? Oh, looks like we're going quite far away, Floof. Hope you've had some... Oh, there you are. <laughs> Not often you land right next to me. Good girl, good girl. Wahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Ah, uh, you carry on, you carry on. We're gonna have to rename you Mario instead of uh, Catman. But if I put that in the video titles, people will sound clickbaiting. And I ain't no clickbait, so I won't be doing that. Even though it would be very accurate, and if they watched the video, they would understand why I called you Mario. But yeah, I can't, I can't be bothered with the comments. Yeah. We'd have to get you some like red dyes and stuff to change the color of your armor. Put you, give you some red face paint and stuff like that, and make you look a little bit more like Mario. No, Speaking of... I think I'm at the canyon. It looks just like the one from No Seul, though. Let me see if I can find that iPhone. Did you just did you just cut your own conversation in half then? Did you just interrupt yourself then, Catman? <laughs> what was that all about? Why is it why is it telling me about looting gatherer balls? Like I haven't been doing that for the entirety of this playthrough. Oh, Bell Sprig. Such a beautiful sight. Like when you open up the chests in God of War 3, you get a Gorgon Eye. Oh, lovely. Yeah, because Gorgon Eyes were for health, weren't it? And then you had the Minotaur Horns for your... Rage or whatever it was? Oh, shit, we're in the yuck for yubba. Oh, hubba bubba. Inspect the sick iPhone growing near the Grasping Mountain. There's a whole lot of Ithorn. It really doesn't look right. Seoul must have been here. I think so. I'm picking up Kamitire scent. Jesus. All right, let me just quickly eat something. Oh. What do you think Seoul's doing out here? Trying to fix his clan's problems. Like us. How's everyone back at HQ? They're hanging on. Alma's not doing so well. I still don't understand what's going on with Alma, because like I already said uh, if it was a previous video, she's technically in an avatar, she's not a real nut bee. So why can't she just go back into a human, human form? It's basically just her uh, avatar that's broken. So uh, yeah, I don't know, Maybe, uh, but I think she might have done the same thing that Jake Sully does in Avatar 1, where he like fully just becomes his uh, nut bee somehow, which makes no sense. <laughs> no sense at all, but you know. But he's also paralysed as well in his human body, I feel I remember correctly. So it makes sense that he'd want to be a nut feed. Change from a paralysed human into this blue cat creature that can soar through the air and do stuff that even humans cannot do. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd do that as well. Especially when you get to have some mad hair, hair sex with other uh, blue, good-looking blue nut feed. Yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd do that too. <laughs> God, Avatar is such a wild film, ain't it? So it's such random shit that goes on in that film. It's just very, it's very beautiful though. It's such a beautiful film. Just the world that they've created, Pandora, is just lovely. It really holds the film up. Other than that, I think it'd be very medicore. But just the world in that, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, bell sprig up there. It looks like we're going up there as well. See the bell sprig. Got to get up on there, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, well done, Catman. That was a lot. Oh, hello. What's this? Is 
This looks like uh, this area's version of the moss. Is it good? No, nope, it is green quality. Oh, what? what? No, nah, that's bollocks. You just didn't grab on then. What a dick. Oh, there's a Taran Su sapling over there. There's oh, an RDA no. facility here. It's quiet. No RDA around. Do you think Seul is inside? Only one way to find out. Why would subject himself to metal things? He has come in here. Maybe he's desperate. No real Nazi would surround themselves in metal. This doesn't make sense. Yeah, but if he's if he's wor if Seo is working on something, then the humans might have just the appliances that he needs, you know, like a cooker or some shit. I don't know, or uh, ingredients from Earth. Who knows? You never know. Well, this is bloody beautiful, isn't it? Definitely ain't there ain't been no humans here for a while, so we shouldn't have to worry about getting into any scuffles. Oh, hello. Oh, well, there you go. That's got to be seal. Oh, it's, oh, cool. He's the one who, fir who we first met who told us where the capital was. What an indignity Seul had to work amongst all this metal. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, okay. I know it looks bad, but I didn't collect this stuff. It's research to fix the Yada. My mentor, Seul, he found most of it. I thought maybe I could continue his work. Now he's passed. Seul is dead? I'm sorry. I hoped he could help me. After Anufi seemed so afraid to see me. What? You spoke to Anufi? Seul never believed it was her fault, you know. What happened to... Uh... My people. I mean, if he was right, then maybe Anufi will finally... I do not know. Stop blaming herself. Teach people the old ways again. Like me. Siul kept coming here. He was so sure the Yava had secrets about the Sarden to expose the truth, he said. The truth? About what really happened to my clan? What Anufi did? Or didn't do? Siul was trying to make something to protect us in the Yava. But all his work is in there. I can't get in. And now the Yava is in there too. Do you think maybe some of the sky people stuff could help us get in? Probably. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I remember what we need to do. Yeah, I think uh, I think there's a bunch of broken shit in here. And we're going to have to go and get some supplies. And it means going to an RDA outpost, I think. Yeah, all right. So we're going to have to do that in the next video. I'll, I'll get the mission up now, but yeah, we won't be able to do that in this video because that's going to take too long. Because when we go there, we might as well take down the place. Instead of just getting the supplies, we might as well destroy the place as well. So yeah, right. Let's quickly do this. Oh, there we go. A nice simple one for a change. I think I can clear the Yava from here. This generator is linked to the ventilation system, but it needs new electrical components. Oh, well, you know, 
There are sky people near here. And you think if we're polite enough, they'll give us what we need? <laughs> huh? Maybe you can sneak in. We need to get to Seul's research. It will show us all the Yavaz secrets. I think. No, I know. White Moss Forest Thanator. That is the first noble Thanator that I've actually seen. Alright. Well, at least we didn't have to... Oh, hello. At least we didn't have to go the... Uh, the long way out. We could go through the front door, thankfully. Alright. Let's get in position. And we'll be kicking off the next video with a fight, which is not good. Hey, oh. Priya. Do you know where the RDA store electrical stuff? Planning a shopping trip, huh? But I'm guessing that joke would fall flat. <laughs> Any generators are a good bet. RDA usually have them near underpass storage in their facilities. Thanks, Priya. Happy to help. <laughs> All right, you gonna speak to anyone else, or can I end the video? You can already see the kind of facility that we're gonna be dealing with over there. Thankfully, I've got two very good bows now, so we should be okay. And if we eat some food that increases our damage by 45%, we should be one shot in anyone. The only thing that's going to cause us problems, but we can try to avoid them, is uh, those um, those mech suits, the veteran ones, the commando veterans, or whatever they're called. The ones that they've, they've got weak spots on their back, but they've got shields around them. So the first time you hit them, you knock the shield off, but then they already know where you are. So you know, unless you could shoot twice quick, which you really can't with a heavy bow. Yeah, they they basically alert everyone to your presence. They're a nightmare, and that we're we're at that point in the game where they're everywhere. <laughs> but anyway. Thanks for watching Wolf Wobbets, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully the, the intro was okay for this video, I feel like I messed up the intro but I didn't restart the video like I normally do, so if the intro was complete bollocks I do apologise, <laughs> anyway thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, like, share and join the pack today.